Alrighty guys, I'm out here on this same ditch, different section. I'll show you what we got here. This uh, landowner wants me to get rid of some beavers. There's a little uh, climb out right there. Down under there, you can't see it very well, but there's a climb out. And the reason they want these gone is they have a filbert orchard out here and they've been chewing off the trees. So this is what's going on. There's another bank den. Bank den. They're just cuts all down through here. And uh, I'm kind of in a race with the dark, but uh, we're going to set some... 330s down in here and see if we can catch some i'm sure we'll get some nutria but the dam is right here and also i'm gonna put a trail cam on that beam of the bridge right over there so we can get a good footage of one getting caught in the in the dam break so stick around I'm going to get some trap set. So we do have some fresh mud pushed up here. I'm going to I'm going to kick some of this dam out. Let it start running. Cuz it's too deep for me to cross up there. I'd be I think I'd be in over my waders if I tried it. This dam isn't real big. I'm going to put a put a hurting on this dam and then I'll set a uh 280 right in here where i break it so they'll come back and fix that all right guys got a 280 right there and i got a cable up here anchored off to a rebar that's about probably 30 inches in the ground so shouldn't go anywhere so i'm gonna get on out of here i got my trail camera right there pointed this way so we should be able to see if anything happens this water has already come down a couple inches i don't know how far it's backed up but i hope it comes down a lot more than that because otherwise i won't be able to get across all right i gotta keep moving I'm trying to beat daylight all right i am having to rethink my strategy here because that is way too deep I waded across right there over to that side and it's deep and there's no no hard bottom there I think it's just nutria through way so I'm not gonna mess with that uh, there is a lot of nutria down here but uh, not sure where to go now I thought I had my spots all picked out, but uh, not so easy. I do think that uh, dam break will catch something probably. Whether it's a beaver or not, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna have to tear more of that dam out, get it down to where it's get it down to where it's manageable in here. And then uh, maybe I'll be able to pick a few of them off, but until then, I may just leave just that one there for now. But alright, that's gonna end it for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow how many beaver are in here and how many we've caught, so. I'll, put, I'll probably put this on one video, so. I just decided to put in two, uh, two dam breaks instead of trying to get around over to the other side. And if I have time later, I'll go around to the other side and get that one. But for now, we'll just do the two dam breaks and see what we get. Stay tuned for the catch day. Alrighty guys, out here on check one on the beaver traps. 
don't know what I'm gonna find yet, but it's raining out there, so I do my uh, intro here. So we're gonna go see what happened. Uh, stick around, see if we got anything in those two traps. All righty, guys. Just coming up here, we got a nutri in the one. Got a fresh chew stick over there. Uh, nutria is not what I wanted. This one is not snapped. There is, looks like there is fresh mud up here on the, on the dam though. Nutria just got into it first. Alright, well I'm going to dig this out. I'm going to hopefully have some footage on my trail camera right there on that post uh of what went on here but i'm gonna get this dug out some more get this water level down it already came down about a foot which is awesome and i'm gonna drop it down a bunch more and yeah keep going i'll show it to you when i get Coming in here for another check on these beaver traps. Uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully, if we got something, well, they dammed it up again. They didn't. Oh, got a nutri in that one again. Come on, nutri. Stay out of there. It, I had that one all uh, washed out. I'm going to have to clean that out. And then this one I had reset and Nutri got in it. Again. Hey, we got to catch that. I'm going to clean this out. This water has come down close to a foot. There's really, really fresh mud right there. And all that's new stuff over there. And of course, in front of this trap too, but I gotta get this reset. But another nutria. That puts me up to 48 nutria on this ditch. Crazy stuff, I man. It's just different sections of this ditch that I've been trapping. So. All right, I decided to get these reset. Got that one sticking out halfway above the water. Trying to get a get them to come in there, to do something. Finally, got this one above the water a little bit, and got it kind of fenced off behind it so they don't try mudding it up in front of the trap again. I don't know if these are smart beavers. Or if that's just the way they do i've never trapped beaver before but we'll get them sooner or later stay tuned all right guys coming down in here to change the sd card in the uh camera make sure these are wide open for tonight there's nothing in the trap but they are kind of jammed up a little bit so i'm gonna get them open back up let that water fly and uh, hopefully we got a catch in here tonight. This water has come down quite a bit since this morning, so happy about that. All right, guys, coming in on the next check. I still have not got my camera set up right. And they still, oh, there was one up there, evidently. They still have just jammed up my traps and have not got caught. 
They may have been here working on them because there's herbals up in there. <sighs> All right, I got it reset and I put them on an angle. That one's on about a 35 degree angle. My theory is they come up here and they start filling in and working their way across and they always get it spanned across those uh, sticks and uh, once they get it across those sticks then uh, the trap is safe for them and they can keep going the other one I have a, a little bit of an angle but not much and with the trigger sticking out a little bit so hopefully they come up there and they'll hit that I don't know give that a whirl but so far they've just been plugging my traps and if they haven't hit by uh, this evening I got tomorrow yet and then we're leaving on vacation I'll have to snap them off pull them out of there but I'm gonna once we do that I'm gonna rip this dam out so this water was up to that stick right over there that's laying across the bank there so it's come down quite a bit uh, I'm about ready to go up here and put in some sets up in the actual pond that they've built here but that'll wait until after Thanksgiving so all right we'll wait and see till the next check all right guys coming in here to check this evening oh there's something right there what is it it's either a nutrient or a beaver right there they have not tried to repair this today which is okay that's just fine uh maybe what it was coming over here to start doing i'm gonna clean some of this up and get out of here let them have it all right guys once again coming in here see what happened and i got this evening yet to check these traps and then we're done for a little while oh there's something up there too yeah, they're swimming up there I don't know if it's a beaver or not but we got a great big nutrient here I didn't even see that. And this trap is also fired. And it has some, another nutrient in it, I believe. And they dammed it up again. Oh, little rascals. <sighs> Hopefully, we at least got some footage of it. I got my trail cameras up, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, looks like we got. I don't know if you can see that or not. Nutri. Looks like the Nutri plugged the traps up and then the beavers came in, but that is a big Nutri right there. Again. Well, two more catches, that puts me at 50 since middle of October. All right, I got my catches pulled out. That's a big nutrient. Decent size one. That one's probably 15 pounds, I'd say. This one over here is a huge one. That's a 330 trap. That's a size 13 boot up against it. That's about half the distance 
a little over half. There's two two size 13 boots and it's still got about that much tail left. That is a huge nutri. I need to get a weight on that one. That's big. Alrighty guys. There's the scale on zero with the box on it. Let's see if I can even yeah, I might have to do it on the floor. Fit that thing in there like that. Just shook you guys over here. So you can see what's going on. Sort of. Never mind the junk. That is still only an 18 pounder. It's just, just under 18 pounds. Try to get the glare off of there. There you can kind of see that. Just under 18 pounds. But that is still a big nutrient. That's a shoe box for my uh, waders. Alright guys, coming in here to pop these traps off. Because after work. Well, both of them are snapped. Got another big fat nutria. And that one. Well, maybe they aren't both snapped. I do have a great big old nutria in that one again, so. Oh, he's still alive. He must just got caught. Must have just got caught. Huh. Alright, well there's that one. Oh, at least it, uh... Oh, what do we got here? A mess is what we got. Oh. This one snapped too. No wonder. Yeah. They're both set off. Okay. Makes more sense. I think just the sticks is what set it off, but nothing's tried to repair the dam. Doesn't look like. But uh Alright guys. This is going to end the uh, first section, or first part of this video. Did not catch a beaver. Caught five more nutria. And I broke the dam loose for over Thanksgiving. I'll be back after Thanksgiving trying to get these things again. So, wish me luck. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. I've never trapped beaver before, so I got a lot to learn. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. And uh, leave me a comment. Catch you on the next one.